guys, how are you? Today I'm gonna show you how to take a high-speed railway in China and what is it like inside. Till now, there are over 40,000 kilometers of high-speed rail spreading all across China in the first place of the world. Our journey today is from a third-tier city to a second-tier city in South China. It takes more than 8 hours traveling by car, but it takes only 3 hours traveling by high-speed railway. Let's see how to take the high-speed railway. The code records our information about COVID-19. We need to have security check when taking the train and taking the subway. There are some restaurants and grocery stores in the waiting hall. This is not a big station. If so, we will have more restaurants and some souvenir stores, clothes stores, and so on. It's the most busy time during the year. Over 0.25 billion people travel in order to spend the new year with their family. We call the traveling Chun Yun. Fortunately, we can have our ID card to check in. It's fast. If you bought special tickets or you take very big belongings, languages, you can pass through the special channel. There are elevators and lifts for you to choose from. This is the train we are going to take today. This is the first class seat. Both seats are quite spacious, with much space for languages. It cost only $55. Why the high-speed train tickets are cheap in China? Perhaps because the high-speed railway was built and run by the government. The government contributed large amount of subsidy. Even with the fast cash flow based on the population density in China, the high-speed railway won't be profitable in a very long term. But the government cares more about the economic development the high-speed railway brings instead of its short-term revenue. The speed now is 200 km per hour, which is not fast among the high-speed railways. It's very steady inside the train. Most high-speed trains in China has a speed from 200 to 350 km per hour. The train we take today is a short trip intercity train, so it's not the fastest. Let's now have a tour in the train. Passengers who bought the tickets without seats can stay here. They may stand against the wall or sit here on their movable chair. There are only two tables in the dining car. People take away food and eat them at their own seats. But on a normal speed train, there are so many dining tables, many passengers can eat there. On the internet, some people are asking, Is China still high-speed rail technology from Germany or other countries? The answer is no. China bought them is very expensive technology transfer agreement from Germany, Japan, France, and other countries. And Chinese has much developed the technology by ourselves. Now we are supporting many countries with the technology of high-speed train. My little girl had a good time on the train because it's very spacious and steady. She loves admiring the scenery outside and reading books. Very quickly, we just arrived at our station. Many passengers are waiting on the platform. It's almost the end of our fast convenient and enjoy module. For getting out of the train station, we have to scan the code to record that we have ever been here. And if we come here from the same province, we can leave now. But if we are from the different province, we have to receive the PCR test at the station. Follow me for real China life. See you!